Music Festival. It's brought to you by GSN and, of course, Super 8. Russell Hitchcock uh, with me. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good. How is it uh, going? That's that's pretty uh, cool. You got the, uh, the the Tennessee album out, right? Yep. It's going very well. Good. Just starting to promote it now, and I'm glad to be here. It's very uh, quite overwhelming, this this deal here. I've never done this before. This this kind of an event? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of a whirlwind trip around the country just it is. In, in, the, uh, couple, in the hour or two that you're here to yeah. do this. But uh, what, so what uh, kind of brought on the idea of doing the, uh, the Nashville sessions? Um, I was in Los Angeles where I live uh, about two years ago. A friend of mine introduced me to Rob Rappaport, the guy that produced the recordings, and we were having lunch, and Rob said, uh, how would you feel about recording in Nashville? It was as simple as that. And mm -hmm. I said, of course, you know, why not? And uh, we kind of got stuck into it pretty quickly. We listened to maybe two or three hundred songs before picking the, the songs that ended up on the recordings. Um, I'd been here many times to Nashville with Air Supply, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. performing. And I have a lot of friends in the city and uh, I kind of had a feeling for, for the town. I've always loved being here. Yeah. But to record here was, was great. Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of a magical place for that, I it, would imagine. It is, it is. So uh, you did mention uh, the air supply. Now you guys haven't gone out in a long time. There is. Uh, oh, we're out all the time. Oh, you are? Yeah, we. This is our. We, we, you don't ever come to Seattle, I should say. Well, we've, that's because nobody invites us. So oh, you can well, fix you're that. invited. <laughs> you can come out. You can do a private party at my house because <laughs> I love it. Making love out of nothing at all is like my favorite all-time song. It's a great song, you yeah. know. Yeah, we've been on the run now for 36 years, nonstop. Yeah. So. Well, geez, I, I must I must miss it, but uh, it's it's good that you're still doing that. You're still going to be doing stuff with. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I leave here uh, on Friday for, uh, I was going to say Seattle, San Francisco. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to Europe after that and Japan. And we've got dates booked through September next year. Do you get tired of singing the, those songs over I never and over? do. Yeah. You know, I mean, at my age, and I'm not young anymore, folks, at my <laughs> age, uh, I don't like travel anymore. It's always a pain to get on a plane mm -hmm. anywhere in the world these days. I don't like, you know some of the hotels and stuff but I mean once you get to to work and I call it work because it is my job once the house lights go down and there's an audience there it's like the rest of the day didn't even matter anymore you know? right and, and here's the thing is you hear sometimes you know on the VH1 shows that people are like oh I hate that song you know even though it's no. the one that made us famous yeah. but that's so great because these people that are coming to see you they want to hear them all yeah well so that, that's got to pump you up well it, it always feels good and, and we rotate two or three of the songs out of the set from time to time but basically you know songs like making love out of nothing at all or here i am or right. you know the one that you love i mean i just get a, a a great charge every night because when you play a concert obviously you get instant reaction from the fans and when you when you know that what you, what you did so many years ago is still relevant for their lives and it touched them as deeply as it did and yeah. still does it's a great feeling well, it still does. It's timeless. I mean, it was the it was the soundtrack of my uh, you know fourth grade love life. So I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, which was you know I I kind of peaked and then it was downhill after that because you know there was no more air supply. I mean, you're still performing, but yep. all right. So Russell Hitchcock has the uh, Tennessee, the Nashville sessions, the uh, CD. It's out already. I think it's right here. Yes. Good-looking fella on the front. That is a good-looking fella. Yeah. Hey, speaking of uh, good-looking fellas, where do you get a shirt like that? Because uh, that, that, I think, I don't know if I could pull it off like a of big rock star could. like you, but uh, where do you get something like There's that? There's a shop in town called Flavor. Flavor? Yeah. And in okay, fact, write that down. The Flavor. guy's name is Robert Graham. Okay. The, I mean, they're all over the place. You can yeah. get them anywhere. Yeah. That, I'm sure they have them in Seattle, too. Okay, good. Well, uh, yeah, it might be out of my price range, though. But that's, Please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Russell, Russell Hitchcock, uh, Tennessee, the Nashville Sessions. We appreciate you stopping by. It's good to meet you. My pleasure, man. All right, Thanks good for luck your time. With Thank, Thank you. Thank you.